Da -na -na -na. It feels like yesterday we were at WrestleMania 5 for WrestleMania 6. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the th last year. The second annual Dolph Ziggler was the winner. He was the first man in history to cash in his title shot at the... <clears throat> Tonight we embark on a new chapter with the third annual. As here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> this should be good. The Royal Rumble match, sure. Not exactly, but close, close. The first annual Mojo Raleigh Memorial Battle Royal winner was Randy Orton. He cashed in to win the IC Championship three years ago, and now he is fighting AJ Styles later on tonight. Dolph Ziggler, perhaps not utilizing it as much as uh, he's not on the main card, but, you know, good stuff. Hit or miss, 50 50. And oh my, we start off. The kickoff show, how we ended it last year with the show-off. Dolph Ziggler, former WWE champion, former, as we mentioned, light heavyweight champion, cashing in his title shot on the same night to set up a triple threat at WrestleMania last year. Can Dolph Ziggler repeat? Can he win it twice? Can he do it consecutively in two years? In order to do it, he has to last through the entire Rumble. 20 men. He's got to outlast 19 others. Can he do it? I don't think so. It's got to be eating him up inside. That the man he retired is in the main event of WrestleMania while he is stuck doing the kickoff show gig once again. Who will be number two? Who will start out the Battle Royal with Dolph Ziggler for a shot at a championship of their choosing. Okay, I, I hate that it, they make us wait, alright? This happened in the Rumble, too. They wait forever to come out number two. This is ridiculous. Get on with it. I don't know if it's Mark the Sound Guy or, or the number two intro making us wait. Ah, oh, here we go. It probably was Buddy Murphy making us wait. Number two intro, Buddy Murphy. A man who really hasn't kicked off his career in Rando well in the past year. He's had title shot after title shot, but uh, really hasn't picked up any steam. Last year at WrestleMania, he was in the light heavyweight championship match that Dolph Ziggler cashed in on. However, Buddy Murphy came up short that night with Dolph Ziggler being victorious. Buddy Murphy looking for vengeance, looking for revenge for one year ago. In Atlanta. Well, we are not in Atlanta tonight as we are in New York City. We come home. WrestleMania 1 was in this very building here at MetLife. And we are back with a vengeance as well. Buddy Murphy looking to capitalize on his career. And this is a way to do it. To win the Mojo Raleigh Memorial Battle Royal. To jumpstart your career back to where it needs to be. Can Buddy Murphy do that? In order to do it, like Dolph Ziggler, he's going to outlast 19 others. Here we go. The start of the third annual Mojo Rai Memorial Battle Royal. Dolph Ziggler kicks us off in the back suplex and a nip up. Now Dolph Ziggler, a veteran of the Battle Royal. He's been in many Battle Royals and Rumbles throughout his random career. Oh, as we mentioned, the win last year. Can he do it twice in a row? A big feat. No one has ever won two Rumbles or two Battle Royals back-to-back -back in Rando. Oh, Dolph Ziggler looks to become the first. As number three, Elias comes to the ring. Elias, another man who hasn't really picked up steam in his singles career. Elias, a two-time tag team champion, however. But it's just taunting to the crowd. And we talked in the Rumble about how dangerous taunting and showing off in the Rumble is. Right now, Buddy Murphy and Dolph Ziggler all oh, just going at it. Elias just backing up, but now gonna come after Dolph Ziggler. 
Are we going to see a double team? Yes, we are. The double team on Dom Ziggler. Is Ziggler at number four? A man. Oh, Ziggler's out. No red pick tonight. Four Dolphs. He had to win it from number one, and he is out. Velveteen Dream. Not on the Mania card. Two years ago, main evented for short arm. And now Velveteen Dream a taunt and again taunting not a smart look on number five. Another man who was greatly positioned last year, winning the World Heavyweight Championship last year at WrestleMania in a fatal four-way. Tonight, he looks to get back to where he needs to be, to get back to that moment. And in order to do that, he has to win from the number five spot. Over Team Dream and Drew McIntyre now going at it. Faced off at SummerSlam, one of these past years. Number six now coming to the ring. Who will be the number six entrant? Who's it going to be? Number six, Rey Mysterio, a former WWE champion. Here's a statistic for you, though. Rey Mysterio has never been on the main card of WrestleMania here in Rando, and tonight it doesn't seem like he, he's going to get there as well. Buddy Murphy almost eliminated. Drew McIntyre now going after Rey. Rey Mysterio is out of there. Drew McIntyre with a dominant elimination there. Rey is already out. Seth Rollins, number seven. Drew McIntyre with a big knife edge chop. McIntyre with already elimination on the day. Buddy Murphy and Velveteen Dream with a double team elimination. Oh, big super kick there. Now Rollins eliminates Buddy Murphy. Rollins, a former WWE and Universal Champion. A three-time Intercontinental Champion. He is held the longest reign for the Intercontinental Championship as well. Just got done with a long reign of the IC title. Look at this. Drew McIntyre going for his second elimination on Elias. Psycho Sid number eight. Psycho Sid. Can he pick up the victory? He hasn't had much success in Battle Royals in the past. Can he do it tonight? Oh, big DDT there from Velveteen Dream. Has Sid reeling. Elias and Seth Rollins down the corner. And Dream out. No. Almost. Already eliminating Sid. Sid continues his bad luck in Battle Royals tonight. Number nine. Another former WWE champion. Sheamus. The man who beat Rey Mysterio for the title many years ago. Who's he going to go after? Sheamus going to go after Elias in the corner. Yes. Elias is vulnerable and Sheamus sees that very smart inside the ring. And look at this. A double team on Seth it seems. Seth getting out of it from Dream. Drew backs up. And Drew now has some time to rest up. As Seth Rollins of Upper Team Dream. A big feud over the Intercontinental Championship last year. Number 10. Another former world champion, Finn Balor. Oh, and Dream eliminates Drew. Drew so close to eliminating Dream there. Finn Balor on the WrestleMania card last year facing Triple H. Came up short. This year he finds himself back to the bottom of the stack. Looking to get back to where Finn Balor deserves. And that's the world title picture. NWO member. We haven't really talked about the NWO and Resistance in this matchup. Seth Rollins a part of the Resistance as well as Dream. And another NWO member, Kevin Nash, is heading to the ring. Elias is out. Resistance members working together and here comes Nash. Two NWO members and two Resistance members in the ring. Look at this Dream on the ground as Seth Rollins Telling somebody to come at him. Balor now looking to eliminate Sheamus. Sheamus to outside in this match. No alignment. LNS, NWA and Resistance going to work together. I didn't think I'd see this. And they get Sheamus now. Sheamus barely hanging on by a dud, but they're not done. Not yet. Sheamus hangs on. 
Number 12, a former light heavyweight champion in his own right, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, one of the longest running Randall members that have never been world champion. Could this be his year? I don't know. He could kick start it by winning this battle royal. Is he going to do it though is the question. And Seth Rollins is eliminated. Dream. Dream got the short end of the stick last year in their feud. But this year, Dream oh, finds a new big purple rainmaker elbow to Finn Balor. Dream is on a mission tonight. And number 13, another NWO member as they start to stack up. Goldberg in the end. Oh, and now Bauer eliminates the only remaining resistance member in the ring. Oh, NWO is imploding. You know the NWO has a very, uh, a very uh, unstable foundation, as uh, many of their members not really working together in these types of matches. Oh, Goldberg eliminates Nash. Number 14, Roman Reigns. Hasn't seen championship gold in a while. He's been in a bit of a drought. Could this be his match? Dean Ambrose going to make sure it's not. Goldberg will eliminate resistance and NWO members tonight. Goldberg, Goldberg and Sheamus having a, a hell of a rivalry. One rivalry of the year. Three years ago, I believe. And now, oh. And Bauer! Oh, it's Goldberg, now he hangs on. Ambrose, thought he was going to be eliminated, no. And Goldberg eliminates Balor. Balor taking out resistance and all NWO members in the ring. Goldberg wants it all to himself. And here comes the rivalry that we talked about. Sheamus with the trifecta of Irish curses. And Roman Reigns eliminates Dean Ambrose. Not off to a good start for Dean Ambrose this year. Another NWO member in Carl Anderson, he misses the bro kick. Does Sheamus and now Roman Reigns looking for the elimination. Yes, on Sheamus. Sheamus is out. Oh, Roman Reigns goes after Goldberg. Roman Reigns in there with two NWO members. Many wonder why Roman Reigns isn't in the resistance. Roman Reigns never offered the resistance role. So now he goes it alone here against the NWO. Is he going to get some help? Perhaps in the form of the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne heading to the ring. Perhaps not going after Roman Reigns. And now NWO members going after each other. Carl, I would not suggest going after Goldberg. And we're about to see why. Goldberg, let me eliminate Carl right here. Another ancient surely on his way. This battle royal stacking up. Four men in the ring about to go to five. Who is the next entry? Number 17. Made it to the final two last year in the Mojo Raleigh Memorial Battle Royal. Is Chris Jericho. Could it be this year? Could it be his year? Big swinging neck breaker afloat over neck. Breaker by Chris Jericho. Pete Dunn. Look at him at the NWO. Carl Anderson. And now Jericho and Goldberg as well. Goldberg hangs on. But he's not out yet as he went over the top rope. Goldberg hangs on and so does Carl. Number 18. Who's it going to be? John Cena. A man who is yet to really crack the singles barrier. John Cena, a four-time tag team champion. He's been United States and Intercontinental Champion, never world champion. He won the uh, Intercontinental Championship back at Survivor Series two years ago in a unification match with Kevin Owens. And now Pete Dunn going after Jericho. Jericho fresh. I don't know if that was wise. Goldberg on the brink of elimination by his NWO mate, Carl Anderson. And now Cena going after Reigns. Number 19 is Jinder Mahal, a former, a former Rumble winner. Mahal came close in the Rumble this year, winning it for the WWE title. Oh, Goldberg was not having that. 
Potential eliminations going on here. Goldberg escapes. And Jericho in trouble. Mahal and Goldberg going at it. Who's number 20? Is the highest signing to WWE Samoa Joe. What a spot for Joe. Joe soaking in the moment here at WrestleMania's first WrestleMania here in Rando. Jericho almost eliminating Dunn. And go! Goldberg! Joe! Goldberg and Joe going at it. A sense I never thought I'd say. And Joe eliminates Goldberg! Come on, Anderson, no! Trying to eliminate Cena, and he does! We're down to five. Five men in the ring. Any of these five men could do it. Carl Anderson, oh! Maul beat him in and took him out! There goes Carl! All NWR and Resistance members are out! We are down to four! And now Joe! Eliminating Jericho! Joe is looking unstoppable! Oh, done! Looking to eliminate Jinder Mahal right here. Joe, is he going to help him? Yes, he is. Jinder Mahal in trouble. And they got him. No. Mahal, again, we talk about he's not over yet. It's not over yet. And he gets out of it. Down to three in this battle royal. One of these three men will be called the third annual Mojo Rawley Memorial Battle Royal winner. And Joe's first WrestleMania, he could get himself a title shot. Big instant girl to Pete Dunn. Oh, but that alliance fades quickly as Mahal and Joe clash. And now Mahal took it out by that clothesline. Samoa Joe now, Mahal. Mahal looking at the big kicks. Mahal now with Dunn. This is smart. Trying to eliminate Joe. We're going to eliminate Joe right here, the biggest threat. I'm going to see a double team yes on Joe this time. Joe in trouble. Gets out of it. Oh, a big shot to Pete Dunn. And now all three men surveying the scene and another double team on the way to Samoa Joe. A very smart tactic by these two men. But again, the rivalry goes out the window. Jinder Mahal been in many teams. Jinder Mahal, the Saudi Arabian Authority comes to mind. The Alliance of the Singh Brothers, and now Pete Dunne on the brink of elimination again. He is in trouble, but he stays in it. Final three men, who's going out first? Jinder Mahal's won a rumble before, you gotta think about the experience, Joe. Oh, Mahal got caught. And now, Mahal is in trouble. No! Oh! Don meant to hit Mahal, I think, but cut Joe! Oh, big insecurity! Don now looking for the elimination. Russia fights out of another elimination somehow and now going after Don! Jinder Mahal going after Don! He's out of there! Oh, Joe! Looking for the chip shot! We're down to two! Joe and Mahal! Mahal now, look at this, going for a signature to cut check, no. In his first WrestleMania, Joe cut on himself a title shot. Joe with a champion complex, the German, the Dragon. And now, straight jacket German. Joe is so close, Joe is so close. And now Joe. Joe's got him! Joe's got him! No, Mahal counters! Mahal a big gut shot! Flatliner! Big combo there from Mahal! Can he do it here? Mahal! Almost had him! 
He's gonna get him over the top. These two men stare at each other, realizing one of them has a guaranteed championship shot. Joe, huge shot, going for the German again. Mahal shuts it down this time. Joe catches him with a big backdrop suplex. That could be the beginning of the end for Mahal as Joe making the slow departure here. Samoa Joe is victorious. And his first WrestleMania, he's earned himself a title opportunity. We talked about his Rumble performance. I didn't do as well as he may have thought, how he may have hoped. But tonight, he redeems himself because Samoa Joe has earned himself a title opportunity here on the kickoff show. The crowd here in MetLife chanting Joe, Joe, Joe. And you gotta think, whatever champion he challenges is in for a big challenge ahead. Thank you for joining us here on the kickoff show as we invite you to join us for WrestleMania 6 live from New York, MetLife Stadium.